In order to best serve our nation, the military has to strive to be reflective of the nation it protects. And it does not serve our country well if any part of our society does not share in the honor of its defense. The NROTC units we have around the country today produce great officers. They come from different geographies, different backgrounds. They bring different perspectives. But too many undergraduate programs in too many top universities do not have a formal tie to the United States through ROTC. And too many undergraduates leave college today with too little knowledge of what the American military means and who the American military really is. And these relationships matter. They matter in a lot of ways. Harvard is the oldest school in the United States. I didn't realize quite how old Harvard was until I was a student here and went to an exhibition at one of the museums and it had an honorary degree granted to Benjamin Franklin. And Harvard was already 150 years old <laughs> when that happened. It still is one of the finest institutions of higher learning anywhere in the world. It and so many other of our top universities produce the leadership of this country in business, in law, in government, in science, in technology. And it should produce the leadership in the military of this country. The education of leaders is about exposure to new ideas, exposure to varied viewpoints, and exposure to a full range of possibilities open to graduates. NROTC's return to Harvard is good for Harvard, it's good for the Navy, and it's good for our country. Together, Harvard and the United States Navy has today, have today made a decision to enrich the experience open to Harvard students, to make the military better, to make our country far stronger. Because with this exposure comes understanding, and through understanding comes true strength. Thank you all very much. Thank you.